Previously on Minecraft Hardcore. Could you guys imagine being trapped in a hole in a room with your favorite type of food that you like to eat every day? Every single day on a daily basis? I feel so bad for the cows and the sheeps right now. Because they can probably smell the seeds. The seeds of life. And they can probably smell the bread and the wheat that I'm holding in my hand. But don't worry, I'm not going to leave you guys out. I ain't that cruel. There you go. Now everybody's happy. We ain't going to give you just a smell. We're going to give you a big old taste. There we go. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft Hardcore. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. In the last episode, we got some cows, we got some chickens, we got some sheep. I still want to get some pigs today in this episode. We want to get all the animals going. I did plant some wheat and there's a lot of other crops that I want to plant. And I also want to do some mining in today's episode. Down into the mine shaft, baby. Down into the mine shaft, baby. Okay, seriously, I am not a pop singer, guys, by any means. <laughs> Does anyone else actually place their torches in a really nice manner? Like, I'll place a torch and then I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll place another torch and then I'll count seven and place another one. Do you guys kind of do it like that? So here's what I like to do, guys. I like to dig a straight line, and then once I'm done digging the straight line, I like to come over here to the left and just dig out a bunch of blocks back towards in the direction of where I dug the tunnel at. And then also I like to come over here to the other side and do the exact same thing. And sometimes it does pay off and you will find ores like crazy. And I find that that works really, really well. Um, I did do that up here a little bit and we found some gold, but I'm not interested in gold right now. I am interested in iron because I want to get a full set of iron armor so that way we can go caving today. Quick update, guys. So I've found about 14 pieces of iron so far and I'm still digging around in here. I think I will just go ahead and do a time lapse. Caving is now possible, guys. As you can see, I have acquired 24 raw iron, a stack of copper, and four. Now I'm going to head back up, and I'm going to craft up a full set of iron armor and get myself a shield. And I would also like to craft up a blast furnace so that way we can smelt down the iron even quicker. And I also want to get a smoker to cook some food with. All right, guys, first harvest. Let's go. Well, actually, it's not really the first harvest, but it is the first harvest inside of my cave base because I did grow some extra wheat outside, so I guess I can say that much. I am now finally ready to make a blast furnace and a smoker, guys. So, start out with a smoker. So, it's going to require a furnace and four logs here, so we can definitely do that. Let me go ahead and make two furnaces because obviously we're going to need one for the blast furnace as well. So there's our smoker. Now our blast furnace, which requires five iron furnace and three smooth stone. So that is why I made some smooth stone there. And now I'm going to take the rest of the stone and put it in here because I would like to have some more stone for decorating because I do have some plans on making some stone brick. So anyways, the next thing I would like to do is make the rest of my iron armor set, which I'm going to do right now. There's the boots, helmet, and then also I'm going to need a shield. So therefore we need some planks. 
So let me grab myself a shield. And then the last thing we're going to need is some pants. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are all fully geared up with iron stuff and ready to go do some serious caving. This is awesome. Before I head out, I have made a couple things. I made myself an iron sword, an iron pickaxe, and an iron axe. I will probably fight with this axe if the sword breaks, or I might just use the axe because obviously an axe is going to do a lot more damage than your plain old Jane iron sword will. So that is a thing. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a nice cave to get into, guys. I've got plenty of torches here. I don't think I have. Yeah, I do actually have some more coal. I've just finished smelting down all of the stone. And trust me, guys, the base is not going to look ugly like this for long. This is all just going to be temporary for right now until I actually get like diamond tools and everything going so we can actually do some real work around here. So that is just how it's going to be right now. It's going to look terrible. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So let's go find ourselves a cave now. So if you guys remember correctly, in the last episode, we were over this way. And there was a cave that I wanted to go in. But the reason why we couldn't go into that cave was because there was a nasty skeleton over here trying to ambush us. So, yeah, I'm going to go into the same cave over here and see what's going on. It was a matter of fact, this cave right here, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, I don't see the same skeleton, though, but hopefully we can find something in here. Or maybe it's just a dead-end cave, but I do see another way here. Hopefully this is not just a dead-end cave, but it's kind of looking like that. So let me just jump down here and do a little bit of digging and see if this does go further down or not. Because if it doesn't, we'll just have to find a different cave. Well, it seems like this cave does go further down in here, but as you guys can see, this is nothing but water, so I can't really traverse this. So I would just go find a different one. It's fine. I did not find a cave yet, but we found some bees. Aren't they so adorable? I love them so much. I can't wait to get into the bees on here. Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Check that out. Looks like there is a mine shaft down there as well. Question is, how the heck am I going to get down here? I could just water my way down. I think we'll just go ahead and do that. That won't be too bad, I don't think. If I can actually find some water. There is another way down over here as well. So it's kind of like a big ravine. But let me grab some water so I can make my way down. Down into the depths we go, guys. Should be fine doing this, hopefully. And I hope that I don't get shot by any kind of skeletons or anything, because this is pretty eerie just a little bit, so... We should be okay. I don't see anything that's going to start killing me right off the bat. Well, we got our first bit of action going on here. Got ourselves a skelly trying to shoot me in the face. Isn't going to work, bro. Get wrecked, son. Now we got ourselves a zombie. Looks like he's stuck over here in something. He's stuck on the, uh, whatever this stuff is. The, uh, dripstone there. That's what it is. Oh, hey. At least we survived that. That was a little bit scary, honestly, because, like, as soon as I got down here and I ran over this way, that guy started shooting me in the face. So he got a couple hits on me, but I'm okay. Well, a little bit of iron never hurt nobody. Let me go ahead and grab all this. What I would really like to do is find some diamonds in this cave, and I'm hoping that we can do that. This is so scary. I'm going down another thing of water, and I have no idea or any kind of clue what exactly is down here. So hopefully a skeleton doesn't shoot me or knock me off here, because that will suck. Safely made my way down. Now this is looking a little bit better here. This is actually looking like we're actually in a cave at this point. Uh, there is some iron and some gold. Or no, actually that's just gold there. It looked like there was some iron. Just a bunch of copper. There is actually some iron there. There's our first bit of redstone of the series. So I definitely want to get my hands on some of this stuff because obviously... Once we start doing like an automatic storage system and stuff, we're going to need a lot of redstone. 
And hopefully if I explore a little bit more, we will actually run into some diamonds, but you never know what you're going to find. And hopefully, like I said, we don't run into any more skeletons, but we probably will. So I just got to take my time and be careful here. Hey, wait, this is a, this looks like a geode is here, I think. Yeah, sure is. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a torch there and I will come back later to actually mine out the geode. But that's pretty cool to find that down here. But like I said, most importantly, we just want to find diamonds if we can. And obviously we don't want to get ourselves killed. <laughs> I don't know why I keep repeating the same thing sometimes. I do apologize for that, guys. But uh, sometimes when you're doing these videos, you don't know exactly what to say. And other times you do. And then other times you just have to, you know, cut scenes and just think of something else to talk about. This is going way, way down. It would be also nice to find a spawner. I would prefer to find a skeleton one or a zombie one. Because, like, I remember... Are you serious? <laughs> that is hilarious. I did not plan this, guys. I literally turned the corner, and that's exactly what we just found. I kid you not. Wow, that is amazing. But the only problem is, am I going to be able to actually get in here to get the loot yeah it looks like they cannot get up here i don't think no they could probably climb the chest and maybe get me let me let me light this up though just to be safe oh wow look it's another geode that might be the same geode we found above us possibly but uh anyways let me take these guys out and we will see what's in the chest hopefully there's something good Oh, there's actually two chests in here. I was about to say, where is the other chest? So that is awesome. Get this guy killed. All right, what do we got? We got some gunpowder and name tag, a saddle, which is awesome. Now we can get ourselves a horse, some bread, and a music disc. So that is pretty sweet. I'm going to light the rest of this up just to be safe. So yeah, guys, this is awesome to actually find a zombie spawner. I'm really, really happy. There's another saddle. Another name tag, some more bread, and finally some bones. I'm going to go ahead and take these chests out of here. We obviously need some more storage back at base, but, uh, oh, yeah, let me light it up over here a little bit more as well. So, yeah, this is awesome, guys. I can't believe that I found a spawner that quickly. Uh, I guess I'll take the gold as well, because it never hurts to have some gold, especially when you're getting ready to go into the nether, because... You know, dealing with zombie piglins can be kind of annoying and frustrating if you don't have a gold helmet or boots or something of that nature to wear. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. But uh, anyways, I'm going to keep looking around and see if we can run into some diamonds. Check it out, guys. We have found some lapis and some diamonds up there, but there are some skeletons over here. There is actually a skeleton with a enchanted bow. I need to be a little bit careful. There he is. What is that? That kind of looked like diamonds for a second, but it wasn't. I'm trying to be a little bit careful right here. And I am almost out of torches as well. And I don't want to, you know, get myself killed or rush into this skeleton. So I'm just going to wall this off. And we should be fine. He should not be able to get me, hopefully. Let me get this and then... uh well, I don't have a whole lot of blocks, so just wall that off. And now we should be good, so yeah, guys, there is some diamonds right up there. So this is absolutely awesome. One, two, two diamonds so far. Is there any more up here? Hopefully there is. If not, I'll just have to go look for some more. Now I can't see a thing. Looks like there was just two up there, so that's perfectly fine. And let me grab the lapis as well. All right, there is actually some more diamonds up there hiding. That's really what I was hoping for, for there to be like three of them. So yeah, that's awesome. And I think that's probably it for the diamonds, yeah. Would appear so. That's a shame. I wish there was more, but we can always find more. We just got to be really, really careful, you know, down in this cave. And uh, whoa, that is quite a drop down there, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if I want to drop down from here because, you know, the skeleton and everything else that's over that way. So I just want to be careful. Well, I am heading back up 
you base, guys, because I think I've had enough of this cave for one day. So, I want to head back up, put all this stuff away, and get everything sorted out, and probably make myself a diamond pickaxe, and then I will probably end the episode out for today. Are you kidding me? I have stumbled upon another spawner. And it sounds like there's a baby zombie in there as well, so I'm not even going to mess with this until I get back to base, because obviously my inventory is full. I could get rid of the dripstone, diorite, and all this stuff, but uh, more than likely we're probably not going to have enough inventory space to see what's in the loot. Home sweet home, guys. That is going to do it for this episode of Vanilla Minecraft Hardcore. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.